get to Colin Kaepernick, right? Colin Kaepernick was, it looked like he was caught somewhere in the Olympics, Paris, and um, they asked him a couple of questions. And, of course, one of them has to be you in the NFL. Well, Colin Kaepernick gave his straight dope. He told it how he felt it. Let's listen to Cap talk that talk. It seems like the Olympic spirit has got to you as well. Obviously, the next Olympics is in L.A. Will we see you play flag football in 2028? <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we'll be out there. We're uh... We're going to work on some things, see if we can make it in there, but we'd love to be out there. And will we see you play NFL again? Uh, we're still training, still pushing. So hopefully we, uh, we just got to get one of these team owners to open up. What would it mean to you to play NFL again? Um, I mean, it's something I've trained my whole life for. So to be able to step back on the field, I think that would be a, a major moment, major accomplishment for me. Um, also, I think it's something that uh, I could bring a lot to a team and help them win a championship. And what are you doing at the moment? Tell us a bit about your new <laughs> company as well. Yeah, so just started a new company. It's called Lumi Story AI. Um, you know, we are focused on using Gen AI to help creators create better. So create their stories independently, um, help them publish them, help them merchandise them, do that all on one platform. Uh, our vision is the future looks like every individual creator being like Disney. So. Excited to be on that journey. Have had some great conversation with creators and looking forward to continue to build upon that. Brilliant. Thank you, Colin. And thank you for everything you've done for everyone around the world that needed it at that time. Oh, thank you. Still a lot more work to do, but we're off to a pretty good start. All right. That's Colin Kaepernick right there. Still wanting to get into the NFL. Who in the hell am I to sit here and try to kill somebody else's dream? I'm here to tell you that uh, it won't happen. And y'all know it won't happen. He knows it won't happen. But still, he's going to talk about it like that. Um, in terms of all the great things that he's doing, this keeps him relevant. Because those other great things, they're not going to ask him about that without asking him about the NFL. It's kind of unfortunate, right? Like, he has more going on, and they're only going to come to him and like, yeah, you still trying to get in the league? Yeah. Okay, what else? Tell me about this company you're doing about AI generation, right? It's crazy. So, Cap ain't getting back in the league. Y'all know damn well. If T.O. ain't getting back in the league, y'all know damn well. Like, you know, you everybody got a homeboy who's still at 24-hour fitness, and he about 27, ain't got that look yet, but he's still working out for it. Well, these guys got their chances. It changed mid-step for Kaepernick. Like, whoa, mid-stride. Ah, and this is the conversation. Because some people are taking the side of dog. What are you talking about? Shut up. You ain't playing and you know you ain't playing. Why you answer questions like that, right? You know, you got the toothbrush on the on the on the bun too, the toothbrush tight. Why are you asking questions like like an ambassador, like a politician? You know damn well the real answer. Why you don't bring a dope? Like his tone has changed, his tune has changed. But what he's saying is the same, which is I want to get back in the NFL. I'm still training for it every single day. So there's one side I've seen. Tell me if I'm wrong. One side is like, dog, they's tripping. He should be in the lead. They should have never kicked him out the lead. They never should have blackballed him. So always indebted to Colin Kaepernick. He needs to be in the league. And there's another side, man, like, dog, you chose that. You, you, you had opportunities to be a backup. You could have just claw, scraped your way into the NFL, been a third stringer. Matter of fact, play in the CFL, they offered you. USFL, XFL, play anywhere to get that look again. So guess what? Appreciate what you did for people, your people, whatever that was. But I got these jokes. I, and the joke is, you still thinking you're going to play in the NFL. I've seen it go that way. I'm, I'm from the spirit of, I judge you right now, based on right now, what you're doing, right? I'm not like the person that harbors old feelings and resentment towards you. Because, like, dog, you did that at that time, but now you're here. So right here, right now, oh, dog, you ain't got a shot in the NFL. We know that. Jim Harbaugh has offered him a coaching job. I don't know in what role, what capacity, but he wants to see him back in the NFL. Yeah, he, he spoke on it. Um, but in terms of being a signal caller, quarterback, those days are gone, right? But then people, beat this up in the comments, get mad because Colin Kaepernick became a symbol for, like, people of color, their plight. And, and he's going to fight for the plight, you know, fight that plight. 
And with that came a protection that nobody told him or nobody would tell him or a lot of people don't want to say, bruh, you made this misstep or bruh, that's over. No NFL for you. I think it's fascinating. Every time I've seen him a couple of times, we have mutual friends. Um, he knows I don't rock with him, <laughs> whatever that is. Like I didn't, I didn't support his movement, whatever that was. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want him to take a knee. I thought he had, I didn't want him to take a knee because I wanted him to grab him, the NFL by the throat. I was like, dog, you could grab him by the throat and choke him out and say, help me or else. But it didn't work out that way, right? They, they out leveraged him even though he had the leverage is what I'm saying. So um, it's a little icy when we see you so let's just say that. He gave me a handshake once, though, but, boy, I'm talking about it was just a pinky. <laughs> it was like this. He dapped up everybody else there, and it was all these dudes, you know, big timers. And then it's like me. He go like that. Yeah. And you know what? I probably didn't even deserve that. Probably should have just went like, hey, buddy. Um, I get it. But y'all think he's going to get back in the league? Y'all think he should be protected forever because of his sacrifice? Tell me what y'all think. Beat up in the comments. I, ain't, I don't harbor no ill feelings. I ain't got time to hold no poison. It ain't going to do nothing but kill me. So salute to Kaepernick, but let that go, dog. You ain't playing no more. <laughs> I don't think so.